Hello, this is Rich Lavens of Eurotherm by Watlow, and today we're going to do a tutorial on the Eurotherm Mini 8 controller and how we connect this to iTools. So iTools is our configuration software, and with the, uh, with the Mini 8 being a blind controller, there is no interface, so all of the setup on this unit has to be done through iTools. So first thing we need to do is apply power to the unit. There's a four pin connector here, uh, clearly spelled out, uh, but we're going to hook 24 volts into that, which I've already done. First way we can do this is on the back of the unit, there is a port, and on that port it needs a special connector called the USB clip or config cable, different names for it, but that just simply plugs into the back, like that. Alternatively, if you don't have the special cable, we can use the Ethernet ports on the front. Like that. So from here, regardless of which way you uh, connect, there's a couple steps to uh, consider and we're going to jump over to my PC and I'll show you how to connect with either, either option. Okay, so we're back at my PC here, and we're going to open up the iTools Engineering Studio. That's a free download from either the Watlow.com or Eurotherm.com website. I've already loaded it. And uh, just good practice, if you're using a new controller and you haven't opened iTools in a while, you might want to go in and just uh, download the latest version of it. But here's iTools, and here's the Engineering Studio, so we'll wait for that to open. And here is iTools. So when you're connected with the CPI clip or configuration cable, uh, you're going to plug one end into that port on the back of the Mini 8, and the other end just goes into your USB on your PC. We're going to come up here to scan, and the fourth selection down is connect via CPI clip or IR cable. So we're going to select that, and we're going to hit OK. And there's a green and red light on the PC end of that cable, and that red light will start to flicker as it transmits and receives. So we found the unit. The two little arrows up here means that the iTools software is synchronizing with the Mini 8. So when that's done, you'll see a little cube representing the instrument. Um, until that is done synchronizing, you can't do anything with it. So... That really is the, uh, is the easy connection with the CPI clip. So now we're going to do this process all over, except this time we're going to use the RJ45 port and the Ethernet cable. So we're going to remove this. Whenever you remove the instrument, I mean, I've had people just unplug the port, but really you're supposed to go to the remove icon, hit remove. Do you wish to remove the device? Yes, and it'll disconnect it safely. So a little bit like ejecting your USB thumb drives, you know, good practice is to actually eject it, not just pull it out of the port, but, you know, uh, I guess beware of that. Okay, so now we're going to connect the Mini 8 to the uh, iTools by way of a CAT cable. So I've got a Ethernet cable plugged into the top port on my Mini 8 and the other end on my computer. Um, this is, um, I don't want to say more difficult, but there's a couple extra steps that you need to do when connecting with the, uh, the Ethernet port. So first thing I usually do, and this is up to you, I usually go into my command screen or my command prompt. So how I did that is in the search bar, hit CMD, and you should get a command prompt. And that will put on my other monitor. So over here... Um, you have to know what the IP address is of your PC and the IP address of your Mini 8 is. So out of the box, the IP address for the Mini 8 is going to be 192.168.111.222. That is the default. So... Um, on your PC end, you would have to have these first three fields the same, 192, 168, 111, and then something other than 222. So I've already got mine set up. So how I usually go here is 
To see if I've got that communication enabled, I type in ping, P-I-N-G, space, and then the address for the mini, 192.168.111.222. When I hit enter, I should get a reply back from the mini eight. If you don't get that reply back, it's likely because your PC has a different IP address than your mini eight. If that is the case, I would suggest talking to your IT people to see if it's better to change the mini eight IP address or your computer's IP address. If you need to change the mini 8 IP address, you'll have to use that configuration cable, that CPI clip, go in and change your address that way. We can close this out now. I'm going to open iTools back up. So we're back in iTools. Up here, instead of the scan button, which is what we use for the CPI clip, this time we're going to hit the add button. And as long as you were able to ping it, your mini eight should show up here. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna hit okay. Now you're gonna get a prompt. The communication configuration password has not been set. Would you like to set up the configuration password now? So as part of the cybersecurity uh, feature on this controller, you have to give it a password in order to connect to it. So do you want to proceed? Yes. So when you hit yes, it opens a dialog box like this, and you have to give this thing a password. And there's the uh, minimal allowable password length is eight characters, and it should contain at least two of the following. So in my case, I'm just going to say E-U-R-O mini eight exclamation point. So you can type it in twice or you can hit show. This is just a Rich Laven's preference. I like to hit show. I'm going to highlight my password and copy it. And then I'm going to apply it to the selected device, which is the Mini 8. So we're going to do this. Um, this step uh, can take uh, you know, a minute or two. It, it actually loads the password in there. Here, it was just a few seconds. So we're going to hit OK. Now when I come back into the main screen, you'll see that the unit is now in configuration mode. So here's my little trick. If I go to the graphical wiring tab right here, you can see I've got nothing on the graphical wiring, but I want to drag in a comment block. And in that comment block, I can put my comms password. That's the one I just copy and pasted. Hit OK, and now this becomes just a little uh, block of information kind of floating out here. If I come up to this little blue cube, it says Download Wiring to Instrument. I'm going to click there. It's going to save that note into the Mini 8. So the Mini 8, there's, there's no way that an operator is ever going to see that note. So it's kind of hidden within iTools. Um, and again, be a little careful with this, but in most cases, you know, uh, an operator is not using iTools, so he would never see your note, thereby he would never see the comms password. But again, completely up to you. It's a little trick I use. Um, that is really it. So it is there. I can get out of access mode. So in this access or configuration mode, you see the yellow background with the black wrench. While it's in that mode, uh, once you have a configuration loaded into it, the controller will not control the process while it's in configure. So you have to get out of it and go back to operator mode, and then the unit would control. Hope you find this video helpful, but if you have any questions, please drop us an email or give us a call. Thank you.